Tipid ng detalye na ibinahagi ni PNP Chief Archie Gamboa kaugnay sa pagkakahuli kay Abu Sayyaf Sub-Commander Abdul Jihad Idang Susukan sa Davao City noong nakaraan linggo. Ayon kay Gamboa, ilalatag nila sa korte ang mga detalye ng pagkakaaresto kay Susukan sa bahay ni MNLF Chairman Nur Miswari. Now, as to the appreciation of how he was arrested, did he voluntarily surrender, we will lay down the facts to the courts involved. And you know, when it comes to like that, uh, it is upon the appreciation of the court. So only the court can determine whether it's voluntary surrender or it is arrest or it is capture based on the circumstances, prevailing the circumstances that has taken place during that incident. Kaugnay naman sa naging bahagi ni Suwari sa paghuli kay Susukan, hindi rin nagbigay ng ibang detalye si Gamboa. May mga lumabas na report na isinuko ni Miswari si Susukan sa PNP, meaning si Miswari po ba ang kusang tumawag o nag-report sa PNP na nasa kanya si Susukan para ipahuli? O ang PNP ang nakipag-uglayan kay Miswari para wag nang makialam sa gagawing paghuli kay Susukan? There were a lot of things that has to be considered before the arrest no? because we know for a fact that uh, Susukan is a, wanted, uh, is a wanted person who has lots of uh, warrants of arrest. So appropriate coordination, as I have said before, were done so that there will be no actual confrontation that would happen and good enough, everything turned out fine. Itinuro din nito ang korte na siyang hihimay sa pananagutan ni Miswari kung mayroon man o wala dahil lumabas na ilang araw nang nasa kanyang pangalaga ang mataas na leader ng Abu Sayyaf. Ayon pa sa hepe ng pambansang pulisya, hihingan pa nila ng paragdagang paliwanag si Miswari. These are again circumstances that would be based upon the appreciation of the court no? or maybe of the Department of Justice based on the circumstances. But on the part of the Philippine National Police, Uh, we just caused the arrest no? as, to, as to the possible uh, accountability of Miswari, it will be upon the courts to appreciate whether there is such a thing or not. Uh, we still have to ask no, if uh, the city director of Davao City asked this question to Miswari. No? But uh, as of yet, uh, we don't have any information on this. Inamin na ni Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana na nalusutan sila ni Susukan na magtungo ito sa Davao City at ayon kay Gamboa, isa din ito sa kanilang inaalam pa. Paano po nakarating sa Davao si Susukan mula Sulu? Uh, this we still have to find out no? although there were, uh, there were different versions that came out uh, in the social media but the concern of the Philippine National Police is that after that uh, knowing the presence of Susukan in Davao, then we caused his arrest on that uh, note. Samantala, ipinaalam na ng PNP sa korte ang pagkakahuli kay Susukan base sa warrant of arrest para sa kasong kidnapping for ransom. May 23 warrants of arrest ang Abu Sayyaf sa leader para sa kasong murder, lima sa kidnapping and serious illegal detention, at may anim din siyang kasong attempted murder. We are now preparing our report to the Honorable Abdul Moin M. Pakam, presiding judge of RTC Branch 5 of Bungao Tawi-Tawi, on the implementation of the warrant of arrest issued by that court against Abdul Jihad Susukan, alias Idam, 34 years old, with known address at Bandang Talipao, Holo, Sulu. Hihilingin din ng PNP na mailipat sa kustudiya ng AFP si Susukan. Together with the Armed Forces of the Philippines, we will seek the disposition of the court to transfer the venue of detention of the accused from the Philippine National Police to the Armed Forces of the Philippines. With Susukan in custody, we can now serve all other outstanding warrants of arrests issued against him as soon as we obtain copies of the orders of arrest. Kasama si Susukan sa sabak kidnapping noong 2013, kaya't wanted din siya sa Malaysia. Jan Scosio Radio Inquirer, 9 na benta, bayan nagtatanong, mamaya nag-uusisa.